The North American wood turtle is a unique animal that has an interesting life history where part of the year it spends in a terrestrial habitat and part of it in an aquatic one. I hope at some point to do a comprehensive video on the life history of the wood turtle. But for this short video, I'm just going to focus on part of its life history that has occurred over the last couple of months, namely late fall leading into winter. In the Northeast, during the month of October, wood turtles return from the terrestrial summer habitats and arrive at their river home base, where they will spend the winter. Wood turtles are cold tolerant, and entering dormancy is a slow process, and they will often bask on the riverbank or on logs during mild autumn days. Mild is relevant for these guys, and I have observed wood turtles basking with temperatures only in the low 40s, and even one bold enough to bask on snow. But most wood turtles prefer to bask on sunny days with high temperatures at least in the 50s. Now, if it is particularly warm out, wood turtles are afforded the opportunity to partially conceal themselves for added camouflage. Wood turtles usually mate in the water, and before river temps become too cold, autumn breeding is often observed. In November, basking opportunities become scarce, and the wood turtles must enter the chilly river where they will become more and more sluggish as November gives away to December. And by the time ice begins to form, wood turtles have entered a state of dormancy. Over the last several winters, I have checked up on our local population of wood turtles, often with the aid of submerging a GoPro. Naturally, some of this included breaking the ice. Dormant wood turtles rest on the river bottom like this, partially tucked into their shells. Wood turtles show site fidelity. In other words, they return to the same section of river to hibernate every year. Although wood turtles hold their breath during the winter, so to speak, they actually diffuse oxygen in and carbon dioxide out through a process called colloquial respiration. Now, it is always fun to tell a classroom full of kids that turtles can breathe through their butt while hibernating. But a turtle doesn't have a butt because buttocks is defined by having a gluteus maximus muscle. But yeah, it is still more entertaining to say that turtles can actually breathe out of their butt.
During the depths of winter, spring can seem a long way off, but sooner or later, the season of renewal will make its presence known, allowing the wood turtles to resurface and begin their terrestrial way of life once more. You know? Bye! Bye! Bye.